Hello guys, who here back with another video, this time around a troll video. I know, I know a troll video, what is going on, yeah, but I am doing this video because uh, of ideas that I had and maybe we can do this as like a kind of an idea bank, uh, that's my kind of also an idea. Uh, so we could like kind of talk about also in the comments or in the discord if you want to talk about it there. Uh, but ideas about um, Trove that, that can improve Trove. And I did one way, way back, not way back, but kind of way back where I did the endless shadow tower. And that's actually the first thing I want to talk about. If you haven't seen that video, I'm not going to talk too much about it in this video, but go watch the other video. It's linked in the description. So check that one out about the endless uh, shadow towers. Uh, but the idea about the uh, endless shadow towers is that if you know Diablo 3, there is some greater rifts, and that's basically the whole idea. Um, even though Diablo 3 didn't really have um, the biggest success with uh, like a, the greater rift system, but for Trove, I think it would work again if the rewards or if the uh, what would you call it, like the whole thing wasn't too rewarding if you know what I mean like it wouldn't be something that was super necessary but more in the lines of what uh, you can do now if you go into your uh, you know power ranks no shower towers sorry uh, shadow towers uh, you can do uh, the ultra towers you see the top one uh, 100 is gonna get a purple name you know there's no benefit other than you're getting a purple name for that week when you are doing that so it could be kind of like the same thing just in maybe another color of a name or uh, something I also want to talk about and that's the that's the next uh, point or the next idea is titles uh, a lot of games have titles for uh, for example World of Warcraft has it for achievements sometimes you get a like off the for example if my name was you know or my name is Wahoo right so it'd be Wahoo of Stormwind for example which is then some kind of reward for uh, being exalted or something like that with that faction and you could that uh, in that way customize your character or characters in a different way or show off your different it wouldn't be achievements. I don't know if Trove would have like achievement system because we do have the trophies already, uh, but they could be connected to some titles, the trophy system, um, that you get some titles and other people can see that, oh, this guy is the uh, whatnot of something or whatever. But titles would be something people would be hunting or people would be trying to get. So that's the idea. It's not just a like a flavorful thing, but it's also something people would be uh, drawn towards. And the sh endless shadow towers could be a reward for that, having being the uh, whatever 100 player. Not only the 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 color of the name, but also the title that you can use for that week or whatever it could be. Or if you have something uh, that would be some kind of title. So that's that would be. Uh, Thing number or idea number two is would be titles, and it's basically tied into basically uh, not all the other um, uh, ideas, but titles could be many many things, and is done in many other games. The next thing would be, of course, also, and it has something to do with, I guess, a little bit like titles again. But the next thing would be factions. So factions is not something again new. Uh, it's something that's done in a lot of other games. But uh, factions, uh, farming's reputation with factions, we already have some uh, factions in the game. You can't see them here, but it would be a set, like a tab right here, maybe, showing that you have this or that reputation with that or this uh, faction, and you can divide it into different things. You can be unfriendly with these or uh, exalted with these or revered. Or I'm using terms of World of Warcraft, but it doesn't have to be those terms. There's a lot of other games that has faction uh, farming or faction reputation with or different things. And then add these, um, you know, vendors and stuff like that, or quartermasters as they're called in World of Warcraft, you can buy these uh exclusive mounts if you had a specific reputation and basically uh quote unquote just steal the idea about you know factions and quartermasters and buying things and stuff like that but it's nothing that is not done before in other games i'm taking world of warcraft as an example but it's done in many other games as well so it's nothing really uh, extremely new idea like uh, revolutionary or something like that but it's just something people could grind out and would keep people uh, playing for different reasons uh, so just more options for different things instead of just saying what is trove it's just 
grinding dungeons, right? But it will still be, you know, some tied into grinding dungeons, right, for the reputation. But we all do have some factions and we do have daily quests and we do have a specific thing with things. We just don't have the reputation as a, a thing in Trove that I think is, is pretty good. The next thing would be, the next idea, though, would be uh, something about prestige ranks. Or uh, if you want to take uh, Diablo 3 again, something called Paragon. And it shouldn't be something, again, significant, but it would be something you could show off to people or uh, tied into something else. So we do have, the, and I've always hated this, or I really hated it, but I've always been kind of sad that we do have the stats where it says, uh, I think we do have an experience, yeah. I think we do have an experience uh, for the weekly one, but we don't have one for uh, basically, let's see the contents here. Yeah. Uh, we don't have one for... Um, like overall uh, the experience you've gained for whatever after level hitting level 30 basically right uh so a game that has that is uh mabel story 2 they have a prestige rank that's why i got the name prestige rank uh, after you hit level 50 in that game you start uh accumulating uh uh, that prestige rank, which we, it does do a little bit. It gives you more mount speed. It does give you more, uh, like, uh, what's it called? A reduction to cost of, like, buying things from vendors and stuff like that. And also something you can't get uh, dismounted in water and stuff like that. Uh, but it doesn't have to be that. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything at all. It's just be something fun to see. Oh, okay, I am level 160, for example, prestige rank now. And that's because I've been playing this long after I hit level 30. I basically accumulated all this experience. Uh, and, you, and you can't really use it for anything, no. But it, it still is a kind of a grind. And some people just is very in, in depth with that. And you could say mastery is kind of like the same thing. But this is what you collect. This is not what you grind, basically. And yes, you do get 250. Uh, you do see the ladder, and you can also see if you go all the way up this guy, and even Etern, my friend Etern is here. See, this for, uh, 43 million experience he's accumulated this week is just gonna be gone next week. It's just gonna be gone. Nobody's gonna ever. Um, if, if he doesn't do anything next week, and there's a new player coming in, he, well, it's not to show off to that new player, but they wouldn't. It, it doesn't matter the next week. That's what I mean. Like, I. For now, we are going to remember this because it's going to be in the video. But like next week, you'll, oh, you, m you might go actually and check if, if he's up there again. But it, it doesn't matter all this experience. All that matters is, is that you do the two and a half million experience. That's it. That's it. If just to get the rewards, the experience has no meaning. And I would like to have it more of a meaning because it just grinds and grinds and grinds. And... Uh, the ba the game is very much about the grinding, so it just makes it uh, a lot more fun to see, wow, I actually accumulated this much experience in this week, and I accumulated this much uh, in this week, and, and stuff like that, and now over a whole month, I have done so much, you know, and I guess you can, you can, again, just, you know, take this number, put in the document, and just, you know, calculate it in the last and just go, hmm, okay, cool. But it would be like to have something in-game that would actually work like that. And and that's that's kind of my idea about uh, never-ending uh, ranks. I wouldn't call it levels, but I would call it ranks instead because if you call it levels, that's can maybe confusing to, uh, you know, the regular levels that we have level 30, right? And maybe at some point they want to take us from level 30 to level 40, so yeah. But that's just my idea about, you know, the prestige ranks and, and whatnot. The last idea is more catered to the content creators. And uh, it's more a, a style that I kind of uh, liked about the content creators is that um, that we that how the whole system was before. And I know it was flawed because some people signed up. And then they basically stopped playing again. And then they kept getting codes and stuff like that. Um, but I would like to see some other uh, content creator program than there is right now. Because there is also one now where uh, if I link in the... Well, if I get a partnership uh, with, uh, you know, Gamigo or Try and World, um, basically I have... Oh, I don't have to, but there is a link that I can put in the description and people can go down in the description, click that link, and then they're going to send you to the shop. And if you buy something in the shop, 
uh, for Trove, uh, the, the content creator gets a little bit of a percentage uh, of that cut. And that's, that's okay, I guess that's fine, but I don't want people to have to spend money to support me, for example. And uh, other than that, I think that the system is, of course, okay, but I would just like what we had before. And I'm not saying going back to what we had before, but I'm just saying I like the old thing better or we just got codes to give to people for free because it's just so easy for them to, to create these codes and just give them to, to content creators and they then do that. But you just have to be more in, in line. I don't have a specific idea on what we could do better uh, for uh, content creators, but I would also like to more, um, not events for content creators, but something where we, uh, the content creators are more involved in the whole system or uh, whatever, because yes, they people do see uh, the Trove tree, the, the, the tweets and stuff like that that they do, also Trovosaurus and stuff like that. But other than that, the content creators, uh, these are the people that, or these are the videos that people see. So these are the videos that also create the hype around new updates, new features and stuff like that, that we can say, oh, this guys, this is getting amazing and stuff like that. And just beforehand that we know something about it beforehand and kind of is like, yeah, now I know something about it. I will create a video about it. I'll talk about it and people can go, oh yes, this is awesome. And go to the comment section and says, this is awesome. And I've been looking forward to this or something like that. So these was the ideas that I had. So the endless shadow towers, the, uh, you know, the titles, the faction reputation, the prestige rank, and then the content creator programs as well. I know the content creator programs is not really for the everyone but the other ideas can is something that is in game and something that works i just wanted to put in the content creator as well because um i think there should be done something at least about it and maybe if you know try and world or gammy go sees this video hopefully they will if you guys of course like it and uh you know put some comments below it will show to more people and then might, it might end up at gammy go's headquarters and they will see maybe some of these ideas and maybe we can all or see your guys, guys comments down below on what ideas you have and for by that we can have maybe you know more people uh, or gamigo actually uh, figure out uh, some features that will maybe work and or something else so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, again helps me out very much and helps me spread the message or helps us spread the message and also of course join the discord it's also linked in the description so we can also have a healthy discussion about troves and its future so again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye